our alarms early morning so we could get ready to climb the famous dormant volcano Mount Longonot. A walk to the peak of Mount Longonot takes close to two hours with excellent birding activities. Mount Longonot is one of the few mountains that we have in Kenya and today we're gonna cover 3.5 kilometers up the mountain. Let's see how it's gonna be. The mountain also creates an added value to students of botany owing to a number of existing plants. However, the more we walked up the mountainside, the more my colleagues and I realized how tricky the climb was becoming. The mountain is steep with deep looking ridges all the way to the top. Lucky enough, resting spots and emergency mobile numbers have been allocated along the mountain's climbing lane for safety purposes. <laughs> oh my god. The name Longonot was derived from a Maasai word Olonongonot, meaning mountains of encouragement. The tallest mountain in Rift Valley is a dormant volcano which is believed to have erupted in the 1960s. However, steam vents are still visible down in the crater. The forested crater offers picturesque views and standing at the top, looking over the Rift Valley, is simply alluring. With most of the visitors to the mountain preferring to have lunch on this highest point of the rim. I enjoyed myself despite the fact that I was working. Uh, I had to shoot. Uh, mostly I had some difficulties uh, on the side of hiking. Other than that, we have wildlife here. We have giraffes, we have the buffalo, we have the eland, we have the warthog, we have the kongoni. We have leopards. In fact, the leopard gave birth the other day last month. Mount Longonot is also close to Lake Naivasha and before our return to the city, a visit to the lakeside was in order. Irene Nchuma, Magical Sense in Naivasha.